Hello, everyone. The NEC Indoor Track and Field Championships are only getting closer, fewer than two days away, and we will have over hundreds of athletes competing down in Landover, Maryland at the 2015 NEC Indoor Meet. One of those athletes is kind enough to join us today in a special edition Google Hangout. This Google Hangout is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com. But enough about GEICO. Let's meet the person who we're all here for today. She's up in Fairfield, Connecticut. Nicole Bartosh. She's a sophomore. Nicole, welcome to the program. Thank you so much for joining us today. How's everything going up there in Connecticut? Hey, Ralph. Thanks for having me. Um, going pretty good. Yeah, you you staying warm? I'm uh, trying to. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I think we're pretty fortunate that it'll be an indoor meet uh, this weekend and not not outdoors at least. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's my pleasure to have you on, and I want to start by talking a little bit about your specific role on Sacred Hearts team. I know you're listed as the quote-unquote multi-athlete, uh, and you have the NEC's highest score in the pen pentathlon um, this season. Um, but when you were coming into Sacred Heart, um, were you a multi-athlete, or were, there, were you recruited as just, say, a long jumper or a hurdler, and then this pentathlon is something that you – picked up uh, over the last couple of years or? Uh, no, I actually did the multis in high school. I did the pentathlon. So I came in here and they were like, well, why don't you continue doing that for us? And then I picked up the heptathlon last spring for the first time. So it's a good transition. Cool. Um, out of all the events in the, in the pentathlon, um, I'm not great at Latin, but I do know that pent is five, right? Five events? Yeah, it's five events. Okay. All right. Good. Um, out of the five events, and I know one of them is the long jump, um, what, which is your favorite event? Um, I think I'd have to go with the long jump. Um, okay. Yeah, fair enough. I, I brought that up, obviously, because you are the defending NEC long jump champion. So um, is there another event that you enjoy doing in the pentathlon? Um, I love the high jump too. It's just it's a little bit different than the long jump, where it's a like different strategy and different um, transition. So it's nice to go from the long jump, where it's like a lot of speed, to a more technical event. Now let's talk a little bit about this weekend's meet and the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Of course, they are the defending champions uh, on the women's side, and one of the reasons why they won the title last year was because they got some tremendous contributions from this outstanding freshman, Nicole Bartosh. And she actually was voted the NEC Rookie of the Meet last year. So with that said, Nicole, you've been there once before. You helped your team to victory once before. What do the pioneers and what do you have to do this weekend to make a repeat championship a possibility? I mean, we have some really strong athletes. We have some really strong freshmen that just came in. Um, we've been putting down some solid performances. So, I mean, we can only hope to put it all together this weekend. If we go out there and we give it our all, I think we have a good chance of coming away with the championship. So. You mentioned some of these freshmen. Do you want to single anybody out by, by name? Or um, is there any particular... Freshman in the distance department, out in the field, in the jumps. Uh, what, what are they kind of contributing all over? I mean, where where are these freshmen uh, doing most of their work? Um, I mean, we have a bunch of great new freshmen, but I mean, we have a new multi, so it's nice to be able to work with another girl now because I was the only girl <laughs> here. So that's good. Uh, her name is Hannah Cook, and she's she's a really strong athlete too. She's um, predominantly strong in the jumps, so that would right. help us. Um, stack up those events, and I don't do triple jumps, so we have another person in triple jumps, so that'll be good for us. And I mean, our distance girls have come out and just 
like destroyed it every weekend. So I mean, I'm excited to see what they're going to do this weekend too. And our sprinters are just having strong performances all around. So we'll see how it goes. Now you mentioned that distance squad, and I want to focus on them for a second here. Last year you had phenomenal performance by Brianna Castro Giovanni, amongst others, of course. Uh, Brianna was the MVP of the meet. She's moved on and graduated now. Um, but even with her loss, Sacred Heart still has a pretty strong distance department. Um, can you tell us who are those, uh, who are the culprits this year? Who should we look out for this year now that um, Brianna's gone? Who do you have high hopes for come this weekend when it comes to Sacred Heart distance runners? I mean, we've got some really, really amazing runners this year. We have um, Emma, who's come out strong, and she's been killing it out there. And we have uh, we have Liz and Jen Han that just ran a five-minute mile, 4:59, I think. So, I mean, they've been competing at like a very great level. So we'll see how they do. Have you ever thought about um, maybe? trying out a distance event just for the championships. Maybe you could score some points. Uh, I know Coach Christian Morrison has that all-hands-on-deck approach. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you'll be in five events or whatever the maximum is you can compete in this weekend. I'm sure you'll be pretty busy. Um, has, some, has distance racing ever crossed your mind, or was it something that uh, maybe you tried earlier in life? <laughs> I mean, I've got my plate full. Um, I'm doing five this weekend, so I think right now I'll stick with um, everything I have to focus on for the pentathlon and heptathlon. But I mean, I'd like to try it someday. I don't think it's really my forte. Um, 800 is plenty for me, but <laughs> maybe there's a chance in the future. Probably not good enough to do it for the NEC championship, but uh, hey, maybe one day. <laughs> yeah, the 800. Uh... That may be just enough for you. I mean, 60 meters is enough for me. Uh, that I start getting winded. Um, but uh, so I, I feel you there. Um, now, stepping outside a track for a minute, what do you enjoy doing other than running and jumping and, and, and practicing? Um, what are your interests uh, outside of track and field? Um. I've got a bunch, you know, it doesn't, with track and school and everything like that, it doesn't leave me with a lot of time, but I mean, I, I'm an outdoorsy girl, I like to hike, I like to stay active, I bike ride, um, still run even though we're out of season, I try to stay busy, um, hang out with friends, and um, I like to ski, I used to love to ski, but I don't get to do that as much anymore with track, so, I mean, anything I can do to really cross train, I love to do, so. So, Definitely, it's being outdoors and, and being active, uh, I take it. Um, now, I know you're in your sophomore year at Sacred Heart, and around this time is when students tend to declare majors. Uh, have you declared a major yet, and what are you studying up there in Fairfield? Uh, yeah, I'm in the exercise science part, uh, program. I'm on the 3 plus 3 track for physical therapy. So I'm hoping to get my doctorate in six years. Um, Whoa, pretty ambitious. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's definitely a rigorous program, but I'm just trying to keep up with my academics as well. So hopefully it works out for the best. <laughs> now, I know well, you seem like a pretty humble young woman, and I'm not asking you to guarantee a pioneer's victory or anything this weekend, but as we wrap up our hangout here, I wanted to know, do you have any predictions on what we can expect this weekend from yourself, from the Pioneers, or just in general? Um, we've got some really big competition this weekend. We've definitely got our work cut out for us. Um, I know LIU's had some really strong performances these past few weeks, and I know we're going to have to rise to the occasion to match them. So. I mean, we've had some really strong performances from our team, too, this year. And I think that if we are able to pull them out this weekend, we can have a good chance of doing really well. So I'm just hoping we come out on top. I mean, just leave it all on the track and do our best. And that's all we can hope for. So. 
And just one more question for you. Obviously, last year you were the NEC Rookie of the Meet um, at the Indoor Championships, the long jump champion. Now, it's a year later. Do you feel like you've progressed uh, over the past 12 months, and do you feel um, that you've improved in your abilities, and do you feel more confident now going to the conference championships as a sophomore? Uh, yeah, actually, I feel a lot more confident. Um, my performances have stepped up a little bit, so, I mean, I've jumped 19 feet in the past few weeks um, in long jumps, so I'm hoping to pull out that performance at conference if I'm able to. I mean, I'm going to try my best. I feel like this year I've gotten two championships under my belt, so I think now that going into my third, I'll be a little bit more confident, so hopefully it all works out well. And, Nicole, just 19 feet, that's all? Why not go for 20, right? <laughs> that's what we're shooting for, so we'll see. Actually, it's just... All you need is one one uh, centimeter better than the second place person, right? Exactly, yeah. I mean, just about your personal performance, so. All right, Nicole. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for joining us, and I wish you the best of luck. I'll be headed down to Landover, Maryland uh, myself tomorrow, so hopefully I'll see you down there. And for you folks who are planning to follow the meet from at home, Make sure you log on to northeastconference.org and necfrontrow.com. We'll have updates periodically throughout the weekend as Nicole Bartosh and the Sacred Heart Pioneers attempt to defend their NEC title at the Indoor Track and Field Championships February 21st and 22nd in Landover, Maryland. For Nicole up in Fairfield, Connecticut, I'm Ralph Ventry here in Somerset, New Jersey. Thank you so much for joining us for this special edition Geico 